So can we talk about lead generation and its real value, if there is any? The reason why I want to talk about that is because right now the real estate market is going through a lot of different changes. We have the NAR settlement, we have um, inflation, we have high interest rates, and we just have affordability issues. So all of these issues that are taking place in the industry, I think is creating an opportunity for lead generation companies to pump out their advertising like it's nobody's business. Any given day, when I just log onto my social media and go down my feed, I'm getting bombarded by lead generation companies promising to give me 80 leads a month, 20 leads a month, eight vetted leads a month, high quality referrals, you name it, they're putting it on my timeline. And guess what? I'm not really convinced. But what I've done is over the last few weeks, I have decided to take conversations and have calls to allow some of these companies and their sales managers to give me their pitch. Because you know, at Graham's ATL, we're all about welcoming new people to the family. That includes agents, that includes buyers and sellers and investors as well. But when it comes to the agents, something that I'm noticing is very different in the last few months is that newer agents are getting scared. Newer agents are feeling that crunch and that pinch of 7.5% interest rates. Newer agents are feeling the effects of buyers not really being gung-ho to come out and buy a house. Um, they're feeling that effects of what you have to do to nurture uh, borrowers to get them comfortable with buying a house. And that's very different from the market that we were just in a few years ago where people were pretty much giving away their firstborn to get a house. They were bidding over the ask price. They were waiving appraisals. They were doing all these things so much so that if you were a newer agent then, you didn't even have to know much about anything to still get a deal and find success in real estate. But now that's changed. And I think what's happened is lead generation companies, they're hip to the game. They know that agents are running scared. They know that over 100,000 agents have left the real estate industry this year and are returning to do either their corporate job that they were doing before 2020, 2021 and 2022, or they're just finding new professions because they can't really make it in real estate. And so what's happening now? What's the opportunity? What's the plug offering? They're offering leads. They're offering them if they're vetted. They're offering them if you get 80 a month. They're offering them if you get 20 a month. They're offering to give you the best leads. And so what I did was I decided, you know, for my brokerage, I want to make sure that I am always providing our agents with the tools that they need to be successful. So that's always going to be lead generation. That's always going to be how can I, as a managing broker, give my agents business? How do I make them successful? And I'm going to let you in on a little secret. To date, Great Homes ATL, we've been in business since 2020, and I will share with you whether you will believe this or not, we've never purchased any leads. We don't purchase leads, we don't purchase followers. You know why? Because Mark and I both agree that we are the brand. Great Homes ATL, when you see that, when you Google that, you think of probably Mark with his home tours, or me, Kurt, with my sarcasm, with my listing ability, or what have you, but Great Homes ATL has a brand awareness and a brand association that we work so hard to develop and create. So why should we take that hard work that, that we've literally lost sleep building and just being consistent with and now give somebody money to give me leads that don't know me so that I can then give them 40% in some cases of my commission? Uh-uh, not happening. So what I think is more important, right, than just having, spending thousands of dollars to get leads from people that quite frankly don't know you. They don't know that you exist. They don't care that you exist. What they do know is that they can click a button at one o'clock in the morning, at two o'clock in the morning from a house that they wanna see. And what they do know is that somebody, probably you because you bought them as a lead, will pick up the phone and schedule an appointment to show them that house without even knowing whether or not they're qualified. That's lead generation. And before you guys jump in the comments and, and say what you wanna say, I, I encourage you to do that. But here's what I did. I took calls over the last several weeks with several of the top lead gen companies. Zillow, SyncPro, OpCity, you name it, and I probably have spoken with them and have allowed them to give me their sales pitch. And what I will say is, some of them are good. They know how to sell, right? But they didn't sell me because the one thing that I honed in on was that large in part, they all do the same thing. They just have a slight nuance to their business. For example, most of the lead generation companies are running Google ads. 
And when they pitch you and tell you how successful you can be and how many more deals you can close with them and their lead gen company, ask them, how much is the investment? Ask them, how much do you have to spend in Google ads to reach the pinnacle of success that they're using to advertise and lure you in to buying or signing up for their contract? Ask them that. It's a fair question and I'll tell you why. A lot of the things that they're doing, you can actually do yourself. Sure, it's gonna take so much hard work, a lot of time, a lot of sweat, and a lot of dedication. But anything that's gonna be worthwhile, that's just what it's gonna take. Be like me in a case where you like to keep your money and keep it in your pocket. That's what I like. I'm not interested in doing all the work and then giving somebody 40% of the money. The other thing I found out when I was talking to and allowing these different companies to pitch me is that, did you know that for a certain company, if they give you a lead, if that lead is not qualified and requires you to nurture them, meaning at the time that lead and you were paired up, that lead could not get pre-approved to purchase a home or they're not selling a home. Do you know that if you spend the time to nurture that lead within a two year period, and let's say at one year and seven months, that lead all of a sudden is now viable and qualified to purchase a home, do you know that you still owe the lead generation company whatever your agreed upon split is or their cut regardless because it's within two years that you nurtured a lead and got them to closing? Well, my argument is this. If you have to do that with most web leads, how many deals can you actually really close in a six month period of time? If leads are able to just be up at one o'clock in the morning or two o'clock in the morning because they're a night owl like myself, the pressure to pick up that phone and respond at all hours of the night is on you as the agent and you can't even vet the leads to know if they're qualified to go see the house that they're up at two o'clock in the morning requesting to go see. I'm just gonna say this, I'm a night owl, I know others are as well, but the one thing I'm probably not gonna do because I would be serious if I'm buying a home, I'm probably not gonna schedule a home tour or showing at two o'clock in the morning unless what? Unless I knew that no matter what time I press that button, I could waste somebody's time because somebody was gonna pick up the phone and call and respond to my request. That's the only reason why I would do that at two or three o'clock in the morning. Normally, I would say a, a qualified lead is probably gonna be doing business during normal business hours when they understand that their request can be met by a professional or an expert during normal business hours. What lender do you know is giving a pre-approval at three o'clock in the morning? I don't know any, I don't. What agent do you know is out showing houses before nine or 10 a.m. in the morning? Not many, I don't know. So why would you think that because you get a lead at three o'clock in the morning, that that lead has been vetted, that lead has been qualified, and that lead is ready to go? Not the case at all. And so to the lead generation companies, I understand it's a business. You guys all have to kind of sell your product but I'm just not sold. And now every day there's another lead gen company. There's another influencer telling me how they can get me the best leads. And here's the thing. Did you guys ever stop and wonder if you're buying into zip codes, which some of these lead gen companies offer, they offer you the opportunity to buy into a certain zip code so that that becomes your network, that becomes your sphere. Have you ever wondered when they hang up the phone with you and they go speak to the next agent or the next brokerage, and that agent or that brokerage also happens to want that same zip code or that same area. Did you ever wonder what they tell that person? <laughs> I bet y'all are sharing the same leads and here's how it works. I share the zip code of let's just say 30135 and you John Doe, you share the same zip code of 30135. But guess what just happens? We both are paying the same thing to the same lead generation company, right? But now, when a user or a customer from 30135 clicks on, I wanna see this property, we're both gonna get alerted to that. So now the pressure of which agent gets to this customer first is all it's about. So why am I paying into something? Why am I paying a premium for just the chance of getting a deal when I can save my money or repurpose my money into my own branding, my own business, and increase my own sphere of influence by running my own ads, by enhancing my website, by doing the things that are going to make me successful in the long run, why would I not invest in myself and choose to throw money away at a lead gen company 
that's sharing the leads with me to any other agent that's in the same zip code, that doesn't make sense. But yet and still, it is big business because as I said, my timeline is inundated with lead gen companies and lead gen influencers. And I'm just gonna say it like this, you be the lead generation. Think about that. You wanna generate the leads based on people knowing who you are. Because the people that know who you are and want to do business with you because they know who you are, there's a trust there. There's a there's there's a certain you provided enough consistency with your brand, with your knowledge that a customer says, hey, I choose you. I don't choose to go fish around for a random agent that I don't know or a broker that I don't know. But you provided and you've shown that you are the expert in what you do. So I have that trust and that I want you to represent me as my real estate professional. That is so much more valuable when you can establish that trust for yourself with an audience. When you can create an audience that tunes into you and what you have going on, that's going to be worth so much more than paying somebody $1,500 a month, $2,000 a month. In some cases, I've been pitched $5,000 a month for lead generation. Do you know what I could do with $5,000 a month? Do you know how many more investments I can make for my business, for myself, for my brand? $5,000 a month to give it to somebody else for then when I do the work, they come back and say, okay, I know you're paying me $5,000 a month, but I still need to collect my 40% from, like, what? Is that what we're really doing? Are the times really that hard? Are agents really becoming that desperate? So where it's all about the volume and it's not really about the time. It's not really about the quality. I'm sorry. I'm not sold. I'm not sold. It's always about the quality for us at Great Homes ATL. And like I said, a web lead is a web lead. High volume, low volume. And what I can tell you is that at GreatHomesATL.com, we have decent enough volume. You guys follow us. So our agents are successful. They are closing deals. We're closing deals. We're listing homes. We do commercial. We do residential. We do all of that and have been doing that without buying a single lead. It's because we put in the work organically. We drive the business to ourselves organically just by being the experts, just by Mark being in the field, giving you guys property tours of, at locations that you probably would have never heard of otherwise, right? I'm listing homes. I have four listings on the market now, one coming up on Wednesday. That's not a lead that gave me that. That is me being out here Believing in myself, betting on me, betting on my brand, and knowing that in the long run, I'm going to be the best lead generation for myself more than Zillow, Sync, Op City, and anybody else. And if you disagree, argue with me in the comments. I'd love to hear what you have to say.